Oh, who could have guessed that sometimes actions have consequences? Turns out refusing to pay those pirates a trivial amount of silver yesterday might have got us in a little bit of trouble. But either way, hello, Rimrims, and other journeyers to the Arco Nexus. Welcome to Rimworld, where today we will fight some death bots. Uh, Feralisk is hunting Meatloaf the polar bear for food. You mean this Feralisk right here? I feel like this is a very literal example of the expression bitten off more than you can chew. Now, before we become embroiled in yet another raid, I need to address the elephant in the room. And no, I'm not talking about Lorax or Jaeger. That elephant, or in this case, wolf-headed robot, is our good friend, Fully Automatic. I did pin a comment on yesterday's episode saying this, but going forward, I'm going to ban his exceedingly overpowered weapon combination now to be fair we are getting to the stage of the game where that weapons combination is not so effective like for example against a bunch of centipedes like in yesterday's episode but with his weapon combination it means any tribal raid any relatively lightly armored raid any animal manhunter pack trade caravan they get shredded instantly by it and it's not really in the spirit of things i know that he is fully automatic and in my heart he will always be fully automatic but i think we could do with a little extra uh, a little extra tension in some situations and having one guy solo every single raid is impressive but a little bit silly however i will meet you halfway to help him embrace his inner fully automatic or in this case outer fully automatic i guess we will as soon as feasible equip him with two laser miniguns those robots seem to be getting dangerously close Hello. So as soon as we finish that research, which will be very, very soon, rather than selling off the weapons immediately, we will save the finest and greatest for our good friend Otto. That way he can still be uh, extremely overpowered, but in a way more balanced way. Though by having two big laser miniguns, he's obviously going to be a lot slower and he's going to be very, very inaccurate. Are they going through the bloody kill box? Oh, they're going through the kill box. Okay, change of plan. Oh, Boris! Oh, poor sweet Boris. We can't have another brain damage polar bear. The grocery bills are staggering. Igniting advanced wind turbine. Poopy, I would like to escort this man off the premises, please. Bloody hell, they're here already. Uh, Starlight, release the hounds. Oh, my God. I mean, what's left of the hounds? Brilliant. Who was that? Charge LMG, charge minigun. You fucking people. We also really should fill in that gap in the wall. Otherwise, it's just very, very convenient. Are you joking? Helmson? Helmson has been shot to death. Well, yes, I can fucking see that. Ah, his brain was destroyed. Now, he is a celestial and in theory should resurrect. I'm not sure if he can do that with a destroyed brain, but I guess we'll wait and see. I mean, shout out to Clingy the robot who shot through the door and killed Helmson in one fell swoop. That's very impressive. Man, these guys really are tough as nails, aren't they? Look at this. Shot after shot after shot from charge minigun. And they are just shrugging it off. What on earth? They are so bloody tanky. Look at this. Wow. Okay. Okay. Are we done? Amused is running away. Man, I take him about sell. I, I really, really would appreciate that you don't do that. Poopy, I'm going to send you up this way instead, if that's okay, my friend. Oh, Boris! Boris and Helmson? Well, I think that just about tidies everything up. What about these other things on the map? Oh, no, there's still hostile mecha droids out there. That guy is down. You are from the trade caravan ages ago. I have no idea how you're still alive, to be honest with you. And apparently nobody needs urgent treatment. Oh, except for Lanath, who's dying on the floor. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Dr. Poopy? Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the premises. It was like a full volley from a charged minigun and they just walk it off. They would be quite valuable colonists in hindsight. I wonder if we can capture and convert some of these survivors. Now, I don't know what research is necessary to be able to make the battery fuel cells for them. And it would be a bit pointless recruiting one only for them to immediately die. Let's go mecha droid power cells. I assume that's it. Uh, if we get rid of the animal armor research... 2,000. I think they'd die before we were able to finish that. I think we'll leave them as they are. We already have one kind of robot colonist, right? In the form of Otto. And Otto is already insanely overpowered. Where did you get that helmet from? Uh. Oh, it's tainted? Uh, if you're alright wearing that, I don't really care. Oh my god. 
Oh, those aren't new. Okay, that's fine. He was just shot in the eye. That's nothing to worry about. He's back. He's resurrected. But he did bring about a psychic drone. I think I was probably unrelated if I had to guess. In that case, then, I assume the only way to fully destroy a celestial is to actually destroy the celestial cremation or explosives or fire or something like that now here's the real question has that tainted his armor because i'm not making him a fresh set of marine armor he's gonna have to live with it okay good we're fine i was gonna say it's his taint anyway and if you're not fine with your own taint i'm gonna leave that there <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna leave that comment oh for god's sake has the man not had enough Leave him alone. How the fuck can that panther even smell him out from there? Uh, Poopy, come and pick up Yalmson. I suppose being eaten is a way that you could potentially destroy a celestial, yes. So the main goal for today, along with building some more combat oriented headwear. Unfortunately, Silsaran, uh, Chef's Took doesn't really count, even if it does look incredible. Along with building actual combat headwear, we're going to try and build up the 350,000 wealth needed for our final Arco Nexus map. And there it is. There are many ways we can up the ante at this point, but two giant laser miniguns. Yeah, I think that'll probably do it. Oh, <laughs> they're 10 advanced components each. Oh no, poor sweet Helmson. Recreation stuff, really. Not the fact that you were shot in the head and literally died earlier today. That's what's that's what's upsetting you. Well, I mean, dying was inconvenient, but I am also terribly bored. And I think all of our barnets are lined up, aren't they? We've got two barnet legs, and I think the other thing was a few eyes, which are... Well, probably in here somewhere. So that is a new leg for Skinwalker. A new leg for Silkaran, who, assuming they survived the surgery, I think has finally earned themselves a name. A new eye for Poopy. I think we made two... Oh, I decided not to do the ears in the end, right? Was anybody else missing an eye? I think we're okay at this point. I will be the first to admit that it would be a sensible decision to get Helmson a proper helmet rather than just a sombrero. But you just can't argue with fashion. And I also can't argue with giving fully automatic two laser miniguns. Oh, no. The worst part is we're going to have to fight this legitimately. Well, I mean, it's close to legitimate as you can get in Rimworld when you have the silly kill maze. Where are you going? No, 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 no. You've ruined everything. What the hell is Joris doing? Power armor Joris, put that toilet down. Lana, get out of here. Some of them have decided to go around and attack specifically the very expensive power grid. Oh, Joris. Oh, you are in a terrible place, my friend. All he wanted to do was help tidy things up, and now he's paying for his crimes. How's everyone else doing, though? We're doing fine up there. I assume the power grid is, uh, yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's fucked. That's done for. Is anybody awake that can fight them? Here, Poopy, you're on, you're on save the power grid, because we're not gonna be able to rebuild that in a hurry. That one just ran right- Where are you going? Not my tall shelves. You can smash my power grid. You can kill my polar bears. But nobody touches my tall shells. Otto, finish finish the job. Poopy, kill them. P uh, Poopy? All right, uh, I'll, I'll just get you to manually fire if that's okay. Well, it's too late now. They're in fucking melee range, you moron. No, it's too late to start firing now. It's done for. It's ruined. 70 steel and 40 plasteel a wind turbine. And then we have another 70 steel and 40 plasteel for the advanced solar generator. The advanced components I'm not too worried about. We do have a staggering amount thanks to the Mecha Droids mod. Uh, I can't help but notice one is still alive. Otto? I'm so curious how they decide what to attack. I really do understand taking out the power grid. That makes sense. I'm sure we've all seen the film Aliens. That makes sense. A machining cabinet and steel tall shelves? Not so sure about that one. <gasps> the Lorax. Now who will speak for the trees? Oh, Joris! Well, now I'm going to have to change the fucking channel icon. Oh, God. <laughs> Our animals really took the brunt of that fight. They gave their lives bravely in defense of this place. Unlike Poopy, who decided that actually she hates renewable energy. Oh, but what we lost in elephants, we've gained in rhinos? I'm following through on my promise. My bribe more than anything else. Selkaran and Hjalmsson have earned their names. We now have Altari, the big-brained intellectual elf with the chef's toot, which he just really can't let go of, and the immortal 
Shelmson is now a Scandrix. And I think it's also long overdue that we have a dedicated researcher now. 16 intellectual, 13.31 plants is very, very good, don't get me wrong. We don't really need it. So we're going to go for a full-on research specialist with you. And then our final role is the shooting specialist as well. 17.86 shooting and a double passion for it. I think it has to go to Skinwalker. Either this is going to be the least profitable arms dealing in the history of forever. Or hopefully that's the second minigun. Which means... Oh. Oh. Otto, my friend. First things first. How much are these things worth? 4,500 for a normal quality. That's very good. Oh, it is a good debt. Fucking really? One work left. <clears throat> oh, it is a good day to be... What the fuck is that noise? Hello? <clears throat> it's a good day to be fully automatic, except for all the mechanoid screaming that keeps occurring. What is that, Phoenix? Oh, it's the bloody Phoenix Owl Cat. Where it's being savaged by that panther. I thought I'd accidentally left some mechanoids hanging around. Oh. Oh, this is going to be good. We're going to do a little target practice the way any good American would. By utterly dis... Shit. <laughs> All right, that's karma. Okay. All right, fair enough. You got the last laugh on that one. I will admit, I'm not very certain on how effective lasers are against rhinos, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, please open the door. Please open the door. Right, now that hasn't really helped, has it? In fact, I'd say this is all pretty much gone to shit immediately. Oh, my God. That Cora Dryad. My God, they ripped them apart. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. Certainly could have gone a lot better. Otto, are you going to die on me? You're not doing very well, but you're okay. That's a, uh, that's a, that's a what, sorry? Oh, I'm not talking about the Garanlan pod. Just to clarify. We have an Ice Age. Atmospheric composition of the planet drastically changed, resulting in a significant drop in temperature. This will last between, and here's the relevant point, a season to several years. That means that for... Potentially the entire rest of this campaign. We could be in an ice age. We are slightly below the equator right now, aren't we? That is going to make caravanning a real pain in the ass. Ah, there's another one of our laser weapons complete. I think this one will go to Poopy. Or we give it to Skinwalker, given that it's a laser sniper. With the marksman command, I think that would be pretty effective. And then Poopy takes the excellent charge rifle. I don't want to go all in on laser weapons. They're good in certain situations, whereas charge weapons are good in others. But given that Poopy was using a semi-automatic rifle, I think anything was better than that. And Altari wooed Lanath by lording her muscles. There has never been a more appropriate time to say, Look at the muscles on you. Mechanoids aren't too bad now that we have the laser weapons. Massive armor penetration, and if they do have... Oh. Okay. Well, it's good to say if they do have centipedes, we should be able to punch through them a little bit easier. But it turns out it's just a bunch of... Very explosive flame bots. And also an earthquake. And also an infestation. What the hell? Maybe those were related, given that they happened at the same time. Uh, Poopy is the planet. Leave that door open. Run. Oh, that's quite a few, huh? Well, there goes our drilling operation. Oh, my God. And the Scytheman as well? Where did they pop up? Ah. Oh. Well, hang on. Those might deal with each other. It looks as if they might. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Poopy is getting absolutely gored. I have no idea why she was incapable of... Fucking what? Are you joking right now? The mega spider... The mega spider chopped Poopy in the right eye and cut her head clean off. She was wearing a freaking Plasteel Ravager helm. I am... I am in awe of that. She had two bionic legs. I don't know how she wasn't able to outrun the fucking insects anyway. And now Iskandrix is probably going to get the headaches. He's wearing a friggin' chef's tooth. Iskandrix is no longer wandering in a psychotic state. Yeah, that probably will do it. Are you okay, though? Uh, yeah, absolutely fine. Exotic Goods Trader, you are here at a bad time, my friend. And now we're checking with World War Three up here. And actually, yeah, I mean, the mechanoids are more or less dealt with. The poachers have been... More or less barbecued. There's only, what, three mechanoids left now? Oh, God. 
Jaeger went berserk because it was bonded to Poopy. Uh, I can't risk any harm coming to Jaeger. So why don't we just go and fist fight an elephant? Oh! The other elephant took it down. Let's get this mess sorted out fast, and then we'll have the funeral for Poopy that I think, honestly, Poopy deserves. Technically, our oldest colonist. Joining Jilp from all the way back to the second attempt. And of all of the possible ironic things to kill Poopy, the thing that finally killed her was missing a head. I mean, you can't make that up. I am not content to give Poopy a simple grave. Her remains deserve to be ever watchful of the Arco Relic. Here you go, little Poopy. Otto gets to bury her. Don't forget that Otto and Poopy were lovers. And though they in no way expressed it or showed any sort of sign of that, because our ideology forbids it, this has had a profound impact on Otto. I don't think I've ever seen him so sad. My God, he has been destroyed by this. My wife Poopy died. Minus 20. My friend, Poopy, died. Minus 7. Colonist died. Minus 3. Oh, that's good. She had a nice funeral. That is, that is fantastic to hear. And the best part is, I get to write the epitaph. Perfect. Perfect. That one's for you, Poopy. A whole 9.8 years as a colonist. Wow. That is... Probably going to be our longest lived of all the colonists. Right now, Cobra, I don't want to tell you your business, pal. Yeah, I mean, that was a poor place to stand, wasn't it? Sorry, game, you must not have heard me at the start when I said today we're going to sell the base, not fight raid after raid after raid. How are we doing on the whole base selling front? Uh, oh. Wow, we are nowhere near, huh? Uh, Just about 90k short. A smooth 90k. Is there anyone nearby who would be willing to lend me 100,000? Farming worksite has 2,000 Devil's Claw Leaves, whatever the hell those are. We've got a mining worksite with 2,200 silver, which would take us roughly 88,000 silver short. We could attack a settlement. And I mean, we are raiders, and that might cheer Otto up. The guy's very sad about the death of his slightly more than platonic lover, and maybe a ride out there on Jaeger to go and wipe out some defenseless settlements will be just like old times. Sorry, is that a fucking whale? <laughs> <laughs> um, mainsail, the dead body of a whale. Yeah, yeah, you see, I thought that. Uh, I've got to ask, did it come out of a transport pod? 4.7 days ago. My God, I wish I'd have seen that at the time. A crate with a whale caught mainsail is crashing nearby. Yep, it really did. I am going to be extremely disappointed now if we don't get a Manhunter pack of whales. Before we begin the Laneth powered laser manufacturing, poor little Otto and everyone else are very upset that we haven't done any raiding recently. In fact, Iskandrix is so upset they haven't murdered and pillaged, they've gone catatonic. So we're going to send Otto, Starlight, Skinwalker, and Eltari on the back of the strangest cavalry charge I think there's ever been. And we're going to pillage and kill. You know, for morale. And definitely not because we are terrible, unthinkably evil people. Okay, turns out we might be a little outnumbered here. Um. <laughs> ah, turns out things are a little bit harder when you don't have a character that can instantly down 50 people en masse. Oh, they're chasing our animals? Oh, well, I mean, that works out pretty damn well because now it means they're not, you know, bludgeoning our people. I didn't even check what they had at this site. I just came here for... Well, for sport, really. Oh, this is the 2,200 silver one. Well, hey, I mean, only another 89,000 silver to go and we're good. <laughs> Was that worth it? No, I don't think so. But at least now they're not horribly upset about the fact that we haven't killed anybody, except for the fact that they are upset that we haven't killed anybody. So let's sort by value over mass and get this mod putting in some good work there. Ah, oh, look. The Hyper Wee Veil is worth more than the silver that you could potentially carry instead. Well, that's quite nice. Oh, not the bloody green swamp settlement again. They want Skinwalker's laser sniper rifle. You know, I don't think so. You see, the flaw in that grand plan, my friends, is that we're the one who has the laser sniper rifle. And I don't know if you're aware, but laser sniper rifles tend to hurt quite a lot. Please stop shooting my fucking elephant. I thought that given that it's on the way back, we might as well go and hit this hunting site as well. Whoa. Look at this place. You know, I think in all these hours of Rimmel, we've never actually played on a mushroom biome. That'd be quite fun. Okay, no pissing around this time around. Let's go marksman command. Let's go combat command. And let's kill them all. If we could get a prisoner, we could also have an execution. And then they'll be double happy that they killed twice as many people. Or you could 
Or you could instantly kill them all. I mean, that's fine too. Whoa. What the hell's going on here? I think we just found their prison and potentially some people to execute. Please be careful, Otto. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Are they stable? They are. Well, I mean, this guy's not, but we could patch him up. Uh, hello? <laughs> they seem to be growing bananas out in the middle of the ocean. And then the final thing to do to cheer everybody up before the grand weapon manufacturing. A lovely public execution. We need this to be good, Skinwalker. No pressure. Ah, satisfying. Okay, fair enough. Plus six mood for six days. Now, does that include the relics as well? So two relics of ritual plus three. Satisfying. Oh, so that's plus nine overall. That's very, very good. We currently sit at 276,000 silver. We have 68 advanced components and a gigantic cache of underground plasteel. And assuming that Randy Random is generous, this could be it. Make us proud, little Anath. Make us proud. Hearing of our newfound wealth and success, the Green Swamp Salmon have decided to come and try and take a piece of my pie. Ugh. <laughs> but it is too late, Green Swamp Settlement, for we have done it. A massive... Oh. 200... 282,000 after all that, huh? Well, I for one just can't believe being an arms dealer is so much hard work. I for one have a newfound appreciation for the arms dealers out there in the world. They're the ones out there with the real jobs making a goddamn difference. Okay, okay. I think that should work. Getting back to the kill box and maybe for the first time ever, it'll come in handy. <gasps> He's beginning to believe. Why are the other ones not attacking? What are you, what are you guys doing? They're chopping down my trees! My sweet, precious trees. Otto, where are your... Clothes, though, big man. Ah. Uh. Right, yeah, see, that's, that's a bit of an issue, Otto. Well, let's just hope that doesn't cause any slightly problematic side effects. <laughs> and if you don't mind, I think we'll throw down a combat command, and I think we'll also throw down a marksman command as well. Because our kill box... Oh, killbox is very, very shallow. I might have to bring this back into the line. Well, that's been an okay job, though. For sure. I have enabled the weapon warm-up on the... On the laser guns. That means a faster fire rate, which is very on brand for fully automatic. Lanath, fuck off. I could put the fire out. It does mean a faster fire rate for fully automatic. The downside is that occasionally the weapons will explode. Call me mad, but I'm not sure the best strategy is to stagger your numbers out across the kill box. All right, there we go. Back to work then, I guess. Well, I am trying to do whatever we can to stop them complaining, and I thought the Neural Supercharger also has the benefit of helping Lanath with the single-handed weapons manufacturing. It's a lot of pressure on one person, I'll admit. They're coming for my laser guns! Oh, the damn Scytheman. On the plus side, though, I diverted a little bit of Lanath's attention to making sure we were decently armed this time. And by decently armed, I don't mean decently armed at all. I mean decently equipped. And thanks to the pills I bought from a spam email, our kill box is now also very slightly longer. Okay, very simple plan then. Let's not send the whole squad. Let's send Skinwalker. Now that Skinwalker has a full set marine armor, I feel a little bit better about sending out a single person. You can stand there with your fancy laser sniper and bring a few of them down and hopefully bend them to go through the kill box. Look at the bloody range on that thing. Wow. Well, assuming she actually hits anyone. Holy shit. And now we kill them all. Oh, look at the little chlorodryad on the outside there, ripping them apart. Holy crap. Take that, you shitty little goblin. Well, that was a staggeringly easy raid. Holy crap. Jaeger the Elephant's also putting in some good work there, too. <laughs> and I think... I think that's it. Oh. <gasps> You absolute fucker. Oh my god, Jaeger's on fire as well. Go, 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 go. Go, extinguish Jaeger. They can deal with that one person. We are almost through all the plasteel here, but there's still... I mean, there's still over a thousand left. 
Ah, free profits. Okay, Skinwalker, very carefully. Shoot. Maybe the turret? Wow, this is a hard choice. Yeah, go for that. Go for that. Go for that. Be careful, for God's sake. Oh, yeah, that's pissed him off. I only did 45 damage, and you're dead. Okay, good one. <laughs> uh, caught fire and then couldn't retreat is uh, it's very typical. Please save Skinwalker. For God's sake, shoot fast. Thank God she was only chased down by a scullywag. Otherwise, that could have been a could have been a very, very different outcome. Hey, my distraction turret. Well, I mean, it's working perfectly as a distraction turret. I would like it to continue working as a distraction turret, though. I cannot even be mad. Look at that shot. What a play. I wish a bit more of these snipers. These are incredible. Oh! Well, I didn't even know you could get spectacular public executions, but there we are. And that's plus 11 mood overall because of the relics, too. The skull of Ohm looks over the brick. That explosion was my. was my brain. Wow, that battery just went up, huh? 7,300. Oh, good God. Oh, my Lord. Well, it's been an honor serving with you all, but I guess we die here then. Okay, Skinwalker, let's see what we can do. Oh, we baited out one of their shields. Well, that's quite handy. Uh, maybe get a, maybe get a bit of distance there, pal. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Well, that's two dead. Good work. Only another... 60... Oh, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> She's thinning them out so nicely. Look at this. Skinwalker single-handedly taking apart this entire raid. I've never seen anything like this. 47 left. A Skinwalker is just, is just ending them. 46. <laughs> I've got Lanath on standby just to do the occasional emergency tending out in the field. Oh, Bones. Your time has come too, my friend. Look at this! Well, I personally can't believe that tactics and strategy works better than just dual wielding miniguns. This is this is this is gonna be a single person raid wipe. This is incredible. <laughs> I am I'm genuinely in awe. This is how many are left at this point? 36. They're gonna retreat soon. Oh okay, 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 pushing a little bit too far. Don't get impatient. Just keep playing at them. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem to this whole thing is I don't think laser weapons go through shields. I mean, it is one thing to take out a raid single-handedly. But when we specifically have a mod to make the raids harder, and then one person deals with that entire raid, this is, this is the beginning of a legend. Oh, it seems like we might have pissed him off for good this time. What's well, another one dead. <laughs> seems like this time they are really pushing it, huh? Oh no, we might be okay. Carry on. And another one dead. Oh my god, the ones with the shields can still catch fire? Or did you just walk into the fire? I mean, either way, that's still a kill for Skinwalker. Goodbye, Oleg. You fool. How dare you? It is insulting that you would even try and stop Skinwalker at this point. Right, so we definitely cannot get through the shield, look. But they do still catch fire. Wow, that's powerful. And that's it. That right there is how you end a raid. A body count of 71. And sure, there were a few that walked into the fire and caught fire, but it was Skinwalker actually spreading that fire. Are you okay, though? Oh, gunshot. Look at the damage we took back, though. Wow. I'm in awe. I am in awe. I'm not sure it's that good, but I've given Skinwalker the title of The Wind. Because you can feel Skinwalker, but you can't see Skinwalker. And by feel Skinwalker, you feel the laser passing through your torso, or at least I assume these 71 people did. Ah, the real casualty of the whole thing. The trousers. We've only got another 9,000 left. I've set up a few more drilling sites as well because, well, quite frankly, it's free wealth, and we need it to keep fueling our weapons manufactory. No way. Come on! We only need another 5,000, and this final laser minigun is worth 4,500. There it is. 353,836.3 dollars. And a gigantic stack of laser weapons. 
<laughs> to reiterate, you won't be able to do this to base game remote because base game remote weapons sell for only a fifth of their actual price. But this mod adds a tainted effect to weapons, so fresh, unused weapons are worth the full market value. Each one of those days of miniguns is a uh, like five grand a piece. I don't know how much are you worth. Uh, yeah, five grand a piece. And then for good show, we've got four laser rifles and one laser SMG, which I'm well aware is nowhere near even remotely 350,000. But it is our kind of main, it's our main, main production this time around. Just like in the first base, the massive stacks of Yeo won our, I mean, sure, they made up a good chunk of our colony wealth, much like these guns do, but they weren't the entire colony wealth. People need to sleep and eat and sit on a stack of, 51 human brains, but those ones are actually for food this time. And with that, we have to make an alliance with, uh, with the Kamisa Alliance, otherwise they won't buy the base. Luckily, I planned ahead a long time ago and built a biofuel refinery that I now realize I forgot to actually make them refine in. Because I'm good at this game like that, you see. And now all we have to do is load this up with whatever will make a sufficient bribe. Uh, which in this case is going to be those humanoid brains we saw earlier. And then we give that as a gift to the Kamisa Alliance for plus 198. Though I will admit personally that if somebody dropped 51 brains on my base, I probably wouldn't be, probably wouldn't be so willing to become their allies. But there we are. And that dropped our wealth enough to now no longer be able to do the quest. <laughs> It turns out we never did actually drop below 350,000. The game was just lying to me. So here we are. Ready to move on to the final part of the campaign. The Arco Nexus map part three of three. Kamisa's leader, Whale, has given you the last part of the Arco Nexus map. Using your knowledge of Arco tech info and coding, you have decoded the map and pinpoint the location of the Arco Nexus. Your allies do not expect you to return, so after you go there, they will take over the colony. The Arco Nexus will likely have mechanoid defenders, so go prepared. Now all that's left is to get to the Arco Nexus, invoke the power of the Machine God, and find out whether the stories are real. And there it is. I'm assuming once again on completely the opposite side of the planet to us. Uh, wh where are we these days? No, I, I don't know where I live. Oh no, hang on, we're right here. Yeah, that's really not that far away. That's like a couple of days travel, I think. And that is everything. Tomorrow? We see if the stories really are real. We see if only with five people we can take the Arco Nexus itself. Because quite frankly, if we died at this point, I think I would never play this game again. Thank you to the patrons who allow me to play this game in the first place. Thank you to Asin Akirito. I am Sagatair, Galupo Fruit Hag, Taco Cat, Apple Cat, The Incredible Gurren, The Link King, Rage Dragon, Passy965. Holy Reapers, the Flying Spaghetti Monster, Chaos and Dying, Chris, Retile, Kane, Nanon 10, Flight Gamer, C Mac, and Mythomatic for their support the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. You guessed it. Could you imagine if it wasn't? That would be a surprise, or it wouldn't, given the <clears throat> platform. Thank you as well to Evolka, Nox Immortalis, Aka, Seppi141, Mr. Hanky, Foxy Cogs, Angry Ares, Brennick, Juniper Berry, Cass. Mimic with Munchies, Dion, Shatulski, Proper Banter, Smirtworm, Dunamite, Cryden11, and Kickstart as well. 